Machiavellianism, the play to win philosophy, and the art of ruthless pragmatism that'll have your friends questioning your moral compass. Think of it as the self-help guide for aspiring Bond villains and corporate ladder climbers. Named after Niccolo Machiavelli, the Italian Renaissance's favorite schemer, Machiavellianism is the art of manipulation, deceit, and general sneakiness in pursuit of power. It also became a personality characteristic described in some theories of personality, particularly within the Dark Triad model. His quasi-magnum opus, The Prince, is often seen as a manual for ruthless power politics. A deeper reading reveals a more nuanced philosophy. Machiavelli wasn't blindly endorsing manipulation and violence, but rather analyzing the harsh realities of leadership. He observed the messy world of politics and concluded that good intentions are nice, but results are king. The ends justify the means guy was not advocating for evil, just effectiveness. He believed a strong leader willing to get their hands dirty could maintain order and protect the state, but critics argue this approach breeds ruthless dictators and undermines trust. He's not encouraging sinister behavior, he's simply acknowledging conditions where it might exist. He acknowledged that sometimes leaders must make difficult choices, but also emphasized the importance of popular support and the dangers of excessive cruelty. The Prince is less a guidebook for tyrants and more a pragmatic examination of leadership in turbulent times, recognizing both the utility and potential pitfalls of Machiavellian tactics. Machiavelli's approach paved the way for later political philosophers like Thomas Hobbes and John Locke. His emphasis on examining human behavior and political systems as they actually existed, rather than as idealized concepts, set a precedent for studying political and social dynamics through a lens of pragmatic realism. That's Machiavellianism in 100 seconds. Like and subscribe, or I'll know you're plotting against me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.